In this hat are some of the craziest sales objections that my girlfriend Amanda could think of. If I successfully get through all of these objections, Amanda has to buy me $15 worth of Chick-fil-A. If she stumps me, which she probably will because she says I've never heard any of these before, I will have to go to hot yoga with her. Do you think you're gonna stump me? I think I might. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay. Let me know guys in the comment section below if you think I'm gonna win or not. Oh, this one's a long one. This okay. is the longest one. Okay. You haven't done a good enough job of explaining the product's value in a way that makes it feel like a need. It sounds like I missed the mark somewhere in this conversation. Would you be kind enough to explain the areas where I missed the mark? Provide a bit more detail. I thought I was gonna stop you on that one. Okay, so <laughs> what, what we did there, it sounds like that is a label. Labeling the situation will typically elicit more information out of the prospect view. Next one? Next one. I've never heard of you or your product before. This is on, I'm assuming, a cold call? Yep. Okay. Well, that's the reason I'm calling. I didn't think you would have heard of, of me or my product. You mind if I steal 60 seconds to kind of explain what we do to see if what we do might be a fit? Sure. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Awesome. <laughs> I looked up your reviews online and they don't look great. Why should I choose you? Well, listen, I don't know, Amanda, if you should choose us or not. I don't know enough about your situation, your needs, what you're looking for. You mind if I ask a couple questions to understand a bit about your project to see if we might be a fit, and I'm more than happy to address those negative concerns at all. That was good. All right. <laughs> We're doing all right. What makes you different? Good question, and I don't know if what makes us different is actually important to you and your team in terms of what you're looking for in your challenges. You mind if I ask a couple of questions to better understand your needs, any challenges you might have around managing your devices to see if we might be a fit, and at that point I can explain the differences between us and the competition. Are you, I don't know if you're gonna stop me. I don't <laughs> no, know if no. you're gonna stop me. I have one. Because that, that, that objection's kind of similar to the other objection. It is, yeah. Because what makes us different might not matter to you whatsoever. The only thing that matters is can I solve your problem or not? Right. So. Cool, well on to the next one. Okay. Don't call me back, I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like this is gonna be our last conversation. <laughs> no, but what I'm getting at there is that's another label. It sounds like this is going to be our last conversation because typically, Amanda, when folks like you tell me, don't call me, I'll call you, I never hear from them again. And it really is because of two reasons. Number one, they're not interested, but you don't want to tell me that because you're going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> or number two, you're interested, but you're not quite sure of those two, which better applies to your situation, how you're feeling about this. I just don't want to hurt your feelings. So it sounds like you're really not interested. <laughs> nope. Okay, move on. She's, I can't sell her. I'm gonna move on. I'm only gonna focus on people I can actually close. That's a big mistake sales people make. A no is good, a yes is good, and I don't know is not good. Okay. I don't have the budget. Okay. Outside of not having the budget, is there anything else holding you folks back from moving forward? I don't think so. Okay, awesome. When you say you don't have the budget, you don't have the budget this quarter, you don't have the budget the rest of the year. What does that look like? The rest of the year. Okay. So it sounds like you folks don't see the value in the product enough to find budget for this year. Yes. <laughs> you stumped me. You stumped me. Did that make yes. I did an awful job handling that objection. I think I did a good job at the start. You did, yeah. But 
That is not how you handle, we don't have the budget. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> well, I'm telling oh, them. How, how you handled it? Or, uh, oh, you did fine. I, oh, did, okay. I didn't do a good job. So at first, whenever you get like a price objection or really any objection, you want to isolate it. So outside of not having a budget, is there anything else holding you folks back from moving forward? So when you isolate an objection, that's going to make sure that that objection is the only objection and it's a real objection. Because if Amanda came back and said something else, like this isn't a priority, then that's the real objection. The budget is a smokescreen. So once you verify that that is the real objection, you want to ask some more questions, which I did to better understand that objection to see if you can handle and move the conversation forward. But I don't think I did a good, good job there. So I guess I'm going to yoga, guys. He's never been to yoga with me, so I'm very excited. That's absolutely false. You've done Pilates, not yoga. Oh, this is yoga. I can't do the Pilates? Nope. Holy shit. <laughs> guys, I can't touch my toes either. That's oh as far God, as I go. so dramatic. Okay, well you stopped me there. You stopped me there. I'm gonna put in the comment section below how you actually should handle that objection because I did a poor job. Okay. Um, this one, you have to ask me like, are you opposed to moving forward? Or are you interested? Something along those lines. Okay. Uh, Amanda, are you opposed to moving forward today? Yes. Yes. I'm opposed. You're opposed. I'm opposed to moving forward, yes. Okay, it sounds like I completely missed the mark here. Because up until this point, I was pretty confident <laughs> you were you were ready to pull the trigger and, and get this project implemented. Huh? You don't know. <laughs> so what? I mean, I did a poor job there too. But what I was trying to do there is mirror. So mirroring, you're going to say the the last two to three words that the prospect said, and that shows that hey, you're listening to them. And typically, like a label, it's going to elicit more information out of the prospect. But I think I did a pretty poor job handling that one too. So I might have to go to go twice. <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of awkward there. I mean, it's you're kind of awkward all the time, one. but whatever. <laughs> okay, this one is a cold call one. So you have to get into the cold call opener. Okay. You have to pick up the phone. Hello. Amanda? Yes. Hey, Amanda, this is Matt with IBM. Listen, Amanda, you're probably going to hate me for this. This is actually a cold call. Do you want to hang up, hang up or can I steal 30 seconds to tell you why I called? Where did you get this number? Good question. So I have a tool called Zoom Info that pulls mobile numbers of folks like you, but I'm not gonna call. Interesting, okay. Do you mind if I still 30 seconds tell you why I called and you can let me know if you wanna keep chatting? Sure. Cool. Last one. Okay. You clearly don't understand my business. Don't understand your business? You stumped me. <laughs> Did I? On the last one! Ooh, last two I got stumped. My gosh, you clearly don't understand my business. I think I completely missed the mark somewhere in this conversation. I think I would say something like that. But no, that stumped me. I've never gotten that much. <laughs> and I guess that's the that's like the point of the video is a lot of times you're gonna get hit with a weird objection you never heard of before, and you're probably not gonna handle it right the first time. Just jot them down and figure out after the conversation how you would, because there's a couple in there that really, really got me. Really good. I, I thought it was good. If you guys wanted us to do another, this could be a video series. Could be. I think this could be a video series. Let us know if you like this type of video in the comment section below. It looks like I'm gonna have to pay for Chick-fil-A the next time <laughs> I get Chick-fil-A, and I'm gonna have to do yoga, and I def de desperately need it. Maybe we'll throw up a little yoga video of you. Be roll, be roll, be roll. Sure. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.